This can't be happening. Let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. All right, so we have just a ton of absolutely unbelievable news to go over today, and let's go ahead and start off by talking about an article that was posted over on VideoCards.com in regards to the LHR cards. Now, if you don't know, LHR stands for Light Hash Rate, and this was implemented by NVIDIA, and in their own words, they said that it was so that they would stop cryptocurrency miners basically from buying up all their GPUs, and this was supposed to help gamers. Now, in reality, it didn't really end up helping that much because it really only brought the actual hash rate down to 70% of what it was supposed to be so it just simply wasn't a big enough impact on the whole cryptocurrency mining issue to actually solve anything but it did give nvidia a lot of good pr well it looks like it might have actually been cracked because according to videocards.com here's what they had to say about a new tool that has just been or is about to be released onto the market quote the nvidia rtx lhr v2 unlocker by sergey is a yet unreleased bios modification tool that unlocks the mining performance of rtx 30 and workstation rtx Ampere models. The software has not yet been released and has not been tested. Unlike the existing solutions for the LHR mining hash rate cap, this software unlocks the full mining performance as noted by my drivers. The author of the tool claims that the software implements a modification extracted from BIOSes detected by mining operating systems such as Hive OS. The modification is therefore added into the BIOS of the cards with limited hash rate performance. RTX Unlockers software supposedly modifies flashes and even does a backup of the BIOS. This process is safe and reversible, as the author claims. Alright, so first of all, even if this does end up working and it is released onto the market and it fully unlocks the mining capabilities of every single LHR card, I highly suggest that actually nobody goes ahead and downloads this, as I could definitely see this being some sort of thing that could easily be putting malware into your computer. Now, whether or not that does end up being the case, we'll just have to wait and see, and whether or not it does end up actually working is another thing we just simply don't know at this point but assuming it does end up getting released you know i think the second question we have to answer is you know what is this going to mean for the gpu market because yes uh, in theory this could potentially lead to more miners going ahead and purchasing gpus but i actually don't think that's going to be the case and it's simply because well and no matter how much you unlock the mining performance of these cards the revenue is just simply going to continue to decline and honestly i do know that a lot of miners were buying up lhr cards anyway so in fact this could actually raise the difference difficulty if a bunch of miners go ahead and flash their cards and if you don't know when the difficulty is increased by adding cards or adding hash rate to the whole network well that just simply makes it even harder to make money so ultimately while it is technically possible that this could maybe uh, slightly stagnate the dropping in prices for a short period of time I ultimately don't think it's gonna have too much of an impact and if you are very very worried about this I would just say I wouldn't be really too worried about it whatsoever and despite this new tool being released I do actually expect that GPU prices are going to continue to drop and actually drop pretty harshly. But now let's go ahead and talk about the second piece of news I have to share with you guys today and that's that there's going to be another version of the RTX 3060 Ti releasing. That's correct. We're seeing another version of it. Some very bizarre stuff but honestly I think it makes a whole lot of sense. Now this new version is going to be based off of the GA103 die. Now the GA103 is the same die that's being used to produce the RTX 3080 Ti mobile version and so it looks like I think the whole reason as to why they're producing this is that it's simply just so they can get more GPUs out. Now this new version of the 3060 Ti is going to be basically identical to the current RTX 3060 Ti on the market. It's just going to be a heavily cut down GA103 and again I think they're just simply taking a bunch of these reject dies from the 3080 Ti and they're using them smartly so they can go ahead and increase the production of RTX 3060 Ti GPUs or at the very least they're going to be increasing their profits by using their supply a lot more efficiently. But now let's go ahead and talk about the final piece of news and this is another one that had me going this can't be happening because according to a leaker over on Twitter Graymon55 it looks like potentially an RTX 4090 or 4090 Ti could be drawing over 800 watts Whoa! okay that just sounds absolutely ridiculous and I thought to myself how could this possibly be true but let's go ahead and take a look at what he had to say about it and then I'll give you my thoughts on it so according to Graymon55 he says quote I'm not clear at the moment whether one model has three TGP ranges or whether 
together it has three models but the tgp numbers of the ad 102 is 450 watts 650 watts and 850 watts of course this is not the final specification and there may be some deviation no below that the prominent leaker comp 87 kimi responded by saying that's just a rumor i've heard 450 600 and 800 watts for 80 80 ti and 90 before but everything is not confirmed now i know that for a long time here there's definitely been some rumors that the rtx 40 series is going to be actually exceeding 400 watts for the first time ever and honestly i actually do agree with that and i think it does make a lot of sense just considering how big of a leap in performance that we're expecting to see out of the rtx 40 series and i do believe that nvidia is definitely gonna have to push their new cards to the absolute limit if they're going to be competing with something like an mcm designed rx 7000 series gpu because for the first time ever there's going to be a multi-chip module gpu basically a gpu with two different gpus glued together that's going to be released from amd and obviously that is going to lead to a massive performance increase and it's going to push nvidia to absolutely push themselves to their limits which of course is going to lead to increasing power limits but when we're talking about 600 and 800 watts things are starting to get a little bit ridiculous and honestly guys i think this rumor is going to end up being completely false it just makes absolutely no sense whatsoever for a consumer grade 80 ti or 90 class gpu to be drawing over 800 watts that's just way way too far into the realm of absurdity and it's something that would require at a very minimum a 1200 watt power supply but more realistically especially if you're gonna be overclocking anything whatsoever you'd probably be looking at needing something like a 1600 watt power supply you're gonna need multiple 12 pin connectors it's just starting to get a little bit too ridiculous at this point now i could see some sort of data center card actually uh, going ahead and needing something like 800 plus watts but in terms of an actual consumer gpu i don't think that's gonna be the case i could maybe see them exceeding maybe 500 possibly up to 600 watts i think that would be really pushing it uh, but anything over 600 watts is just going to be a hard no there's no way that they can possibly release that on the desktop it's just way too much power it's going to be way too hard to cool and it's just going to be very very impractical and honestly it's just going to make nvidia look really bad so no i don't think that's going to be the case we're not going to be seeing that but either way you look at it if you've got like a 500 watt power supply right now is definitely not going to cut it for some of these rtx 40 series gpus but hey that's just what i think how much power do you think the rtx 4090 is really gonna draw let me know your guys thoughts in the comments below and of course i'll see you in the next video if you made it to the end of the video be sure to drop a like every time you do so amd and nvidia get more stock also if you want to see more click here you won't be disappointed